Shepard. What brings you all the way out here? I'd ask the same. Is something the matter out here? We are part of the joint border guard between Highland and Rollins. But we spotted a village that's not on the map. We were about to go investigate. Hmm. Would it be all right if we handled the investigation instead? Good call. If it turns out those two are actually back... I'm not sure I take your meaning. There's a high chance you might encounter danger there that only the Shepherd could handle. But... Please. I'm worried for everyone. Understood. No, this is about normal for me. Shepard, what was that? Who are these women? They collapsed. Please, take care of them. Will do. Most likely they fell victim to the sleeping sickness. Sickness? We consulted older records pertaining to this area. It turns out there was a village here called Fortin that was wiped out 20 years ago. The records indicate that everyone in the village caught an illness that made them lethargic and constantly sleepy. As if they were trapped by the illusions men call dreams. Saray, do you think? <sighs> it's just such a pity. Was it fate that the Cardinal and her sisters all had to choose between death and a life that would turn them into Hellions? Well... There is such a thing as destiny in this world. But I don't want to believe that everything that happens is predetermined. I've never really put much stock in destiny. Everyone lives on the razor's edge between light and darkness. You never know which way they'll fall. It just so happened that all three sisters fell on the side of darkness and became Hellions. That's all. Can you choose which side you fall on? Um, yeah. It's your own life, after all. Saray. Yeah. Rose has the right idea. Do it, Rose! 
You might not have been as strong as a dragon, but you could have fooled me. A dragon? Something bothering you? Yeah, I guess. It felt like that Hellion resented us somehow. Really? Just a gut feeling. Huh. I wonder. Hellions are just like that. It's purified now, wherever it is. It's probably feeling great. I hope so. I can smell herbs nearby. so hard, Lila. But who's it for? If you're asking if it's for you, then yes, partially. That's odd. This area isn't supposed to have any wild horses. It's not? Yeah. The Sparrow Feathers pass through here all the time, but I've never seen any before. Couldn't they be former war horses? Oh, there you go. That explains it. They must have gotten separated. Stupid armies, clean up after yourselves at least. I wonder which country's horses they are. Who knows? Might be both. Making their peace as fellow strays? Would that surprise you? It's not like the horses have any reason to fight. Just like people, horses too run from the terrors of war. Technically, they gallop. Are they... are they okay to live like that? Why not? The malevolence of the battlefield is long gone. The main danger is past. The main danger, you mean? No. No, I do not. Stupid is a stupid That was unexpectedly tough. Well, I expected it. You guys gonna fight? Ooh, a fight. I'm gonna charge you admission if you watch. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. Yes, we should do this. Purification complete!
Is that a treasure chest? Are there any herbs around here? I sense treasure nearby. Tell me that there's treasures nearby. Pleasant? Quite. Did someone forget something here? Oh, uh, how should I... Saray, look around you. What do you see? Um, well, it looks like a slime alien lair, so... Oh! Yep, the owner of this junk got gobbled up. But why did they leave this stuff untouched? Picky eaters, no doubt. You joke, but there may be some truth to it. Slime aliens are a mass of ego and greed, after all. <sighs> no time to mourn the departed. Don't forget, we're also here in their lair. You don't want to blink and find yourself staring at the inside of a slime stomach. You're right. I'll be careful. I bet you'd make an attractive morsel, Zavid. The slimes would barely have anything to spit out. I get that a lot. Zavid, you're only an egg or two away from being a delicious omelette. Treasure chest?
sure is a lot of gold lying around out there. Sense treasure nearby. Is it herbs? What's this? My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. Eater could mean anything. I don't want none of it. No Zavid. Well, you know what they say. You can never be too strong.
Is that a treasure chest? I sense treasure nearby. What's this? We really beat the dragon. Pretty impressive. That's why you the man, Saray. I know. It's about Edna's brother, isn't it? We might have noticed that already, but if we shoot Eisen with Siegfried, we might be able to get rid of the malevolence and return him to normal. It's still only a possibility. We may need more than one bullet. And who knows if this will even work? Yeah. I know that now's not the time. Sorry. Maybe I said too much. But if we scour the world, we might be able to find another way. Yeah. But Heldolf ain't gonna wait for us. This could be our only chance. I'm not forcing it, you know. Because you'll do it yourself anyways, right? You bet I will. Where's Lila and the others? They said that they'll be at the sauna. All right. Let's all go together. That means you too, Mick boy. I'll pass. Unacceptable. As men, we need to be opened and... Yeah, blah, 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 something, something. What's with you guys? So, hey, fun fact. Popular theory has it that the prototype for saunas was originally a smokehouse. All right. Time to read the wind. I got this. Hmm... So, either way, it came from the northern regions. And then I guess spread across the Glenwood continent from there? It's quite a mystery if you think about it. Nope, not Edna. Maybe in another 3,000 years or so. <laughs> Maybe it's because the entire continent used to be super cold? Past the heat waves and beyond. Go! Is that even possible? Oh, right! That tree stump from Volgran Forest! Dezel mentioned how there was a period where the sunlight was rather weak. Out! <sighs> Wind got blocked. Must be Lila's fire. What an unexpected discovery. We might be able to prove something historic. <sighs> sure, sure is hot. So it's finally over. What an incredible finishing blow! I could feel the determination just resonating. Rose didn't stop Saray this time. Huh? Did she stop him before? Yeah. Rose was the one who killed the Cardinal when we couldn't purify her. Saray's job is to give life. Mine is to take it. That's what she said. That's so like her. It's not like we wanted her to resort to such means, of course. But why wouldn't she stop him this time? Saray found his answer. Rose wanted to give him strength. So, if you think about it that way, nothing's really changed. Oh, you're right. Rose may be more considerate towards Saray than we realize. Yeah, but you'll never know until you ask. There's no need to ask. I believe her. <laughs> if you say so.
Well, that was quick. We're here to purify you, but it'll be a dreams. Well done. Get your time yeah. right. I'm on top of my game! Yeah, I don't feel Gramps' blessed domain. Did something happen in Elysia? You guys, let's hurry! Yeah! yeah. <sighs> so much malevolence, it's stifling. I've... Never seen the Aroundite Forest in such a state. This much mithril. Mithril is a rare metal that's supposedly difficult to process. If you make accessories with it, then it we won't lose to you. My instincts tell me that there's treasures nearby. Stupid is a Oh, it's an elderly. How graceful and cute its name is. If you say so. And stay down. We won't lose to you. The Demon Rattler is top class at Seraphic Art. What elements is it resistant to? Everything. Everything? They can also cast spells that heighten their abilities. That puts us in a pretty tight spot. Is that an herb? Stupid as a stupid It's another werewolf alien with high combat powers. They have various jump attacks. Don't screw up out there. Be sure to let me know if there's treasure nearby. Got it? Smell herbs nearby. Please, Edna. I will slide you on board. Looks like we win! People! 
more like corpses. Looks like they were soldiers from Highland. So the humans came to invade Alicia. <laughs> Someone who could wield their powers even within Zenris's domain must have led humans and Hellions into this place. Heldolf! Maybe he was trying to get the humans to destroy the seal so he could get to Camlon. I don't know about that. Remember, he's linked up with Mautelis. He could probably cut through that seal like butter. Yeah. No doubt Heldolf is already camped out at Camlon, waiting for us. This is likely just his way of tormenting me. Well then, if we waste any more time here, we're just falling into his trap. Then let's press on to Elysia. Pretty obvious what Kittybeard is after. Yes, corrupting Saray with malevolence, I take it. Saray's aware of it. You can tell he's trying his best to keep it together, despite the circumstances. Ugh, screw you, Smeldolf! No one can keep their head on straight when their friends and family are in mortal danger! Who knows what evils he may be plotting in order to cause Saray further heartache? I can hazard a few guesses. We gotta stop him, no matter what! Let's go. Wasn't worried for a moment! Be sure to let me know if there's treasure nearby. Got it? like this right at Alicia's gate. Saray, yeah. Check this one out. It looks like a battlefield. They must have become Hellions, losing themselves and turning on each other. How could this happen? It's possible they simply had the same thought that Heldolf also had back in the day. Alicia and Camlon are strategically valuable, right? But the war is practically over already! Which goes to show you how much some morons don't want it to end. Yeah, <sighs> but they're not the only ones responsible for this. There's massive amounts of malevolence pouring out from somewhere. Probably a sign that the seal my mother forged has been broken. Gramps, everyone, please be safe. <sighs> Something's wrong. Yeah. All these bodies of Highland soldiers, but no sign of the people who live here. You don't think everyone... Please, both of you, don't assume the worst. Yeah, they had to have gotten away safe and sound. You're right. Let's keep up the search. <sighs> Ow! It's a barrier. 
It must be something Zenris set up to prevent humans from breaking in. Gramps! It's me, Saray! Saray? Saray, you're back! Yes, thank goodness! Saray! Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad you're all okay. Where's Gramps? He told us to wait here. He said that he was going to go drive out the humans. He went out alone in all this malevolence? I'm sorry. We should have been there with him. But even if we had, we would only have gotten in his way. We left him out there to die. Hey, like Lila keeps saying, reflection good, regrets bad. There's no way Gramps would fall so easily. Saray. I'll go find him. Kaim, everybody, stay right here. If everyone else was safe, Gramps must be too. Saray, isn't that... I, Zenris, shall record the truth regarding the birth of the human Saray and the Seraph Miklio here in writing. That's Gramps' handwriting. Both Saray and Miklio are survivors of Camlon, the, the origin, origin village, village where the age of chaos unfolded. Miklio's mother is Muse, the younger sister of the late shepherd, Michael. Saray's mother is Selene, a citizen of Camlon. I have been entrusted to the care of both of them by Muse, who managed to escape from Camlon. I closed off Elysia with my domain, and decided to raise both of them in an isolated place, separate from the outside world. As long as I live, I swear to protect these young babes as part of our family. It's the same memory that Maven showed me. Yeah, so that would make it right after Mautelis became a Hellion. Lila, isn't that around the same time that you first met Zenris? I see. So that would mean Gramps told her of the incident in Camlon and the start of the Age of Chaos. And so she earned the power to purify through the Oath and waited until the Shepherd appeared. I didn't know of their names back then. Is there anything else mentioned in their Saray? I pray that these children, burdened with the tribulations of the era, shall still live in peace. But if... Saray? But if these children, children should, should challenge, challenge their, their fate, fate and desire to create a new world, then may they, they receive the blessings of both humans and seraphim alike, so that, so that their, their will for a, for a new future may be, may be fulfilled. So Gramps knew all along. He did. of the dawn of chaos that Gramps headed towards. It's her! We can no longer tell how you will respond. And so, as you can see, we determined this to be the only remaining option available to us. You did this? Whatever plots you hatch, it doesn't matter. I already have my answer. Do you hate me then? Do you wish to plunge that sword into my breast? Where is Gramps, Simone? He went to the Gate of the Dawn of Chaos to drive away the Earth Dwellers flooding in. Though it's far too late at this point to do anything. <sighs> Looks like our dear Purple Petunia is worried. Saray has most likely grown a lot stronger than she anticipated. Yeah, she knows that no matter what she does, Saray will brush it right off. It's got her quivering in her dainty little shoes. But a cornered dog is likely to bite. If it comes down to her last resort, do you think Saray can really just brush it off? It worries me. Well, we just won't let it get to that. Simple enough, right? Yes. He shouldn't have to know how it feels. Not even if he thinks he's ready for it. Edna. Looks like our Edna's in serious mode. Looks like our Zavid's pretty serious mode himself. For once. That's a good thing, Zavid. Please make serious mode your default from now on. Oh, I can't refuse the request of such a pretty lady. Just watch, I'll be serious. Lee in love. Hey, you married? Would you like to be? Lila, you idiot. 
He would have stayed that way if you had just left him alone. I'm sorry. Buffalo headed. The cow's hatred has. I don't think that's the right name. Hey, quit staring at me. Women in battle are gorgeous. Ain't that right, Saray? Sure. Come on, man. Don't expect too much out of Saray on this. right for the throat all the time. I can see she sure likes to make things miserable for others. Did it again. More like wasted your energy and talk too much. Pretty tough for being so small. Quite the mischievous one. The little ones are definitely the worst. Like you? I'm not that short. That was pretty good, Shorty. Being big is for losers. Big losers.
Are there any herbs around here? I shall protect everyone while you deal with that. Hmm. As far as I know, this one looks more like an angel to me. So, is it really a Hellion? It is indeed, and it possesses powerful abilities. They can reflect non-elemental attacks with great probability. Reflect back? And with great probability? But cold nature's so charming. Let's have fun. No, this is about normal for me. Sergei, how did the negotiations with Highland go? His Majesty and the King of Highland agreed to make peace with each other. But the process is proving quite difficult. Even though the King agreed to it? It's a mere formality. The Conservatives are steadfastly refusing to give up their conditions. And the Progressives use this opportunity to build political power. We have allies and enemies on both sides of the fence. Things are indeed in disarray. Man, just hearing about it wears me out. Yeah, sounds pretty tough. Never. It's nothing compared to what Soray and his lady have endured. Uh, just FYI, I'm not actually his... Milady, it is very fortunate to have someone by your side when the road ahead is rife with danger. It's common for men focused on their intentions to not realize how fortunate they are. Please, look after him. All right, leave it to me. <laughs> Please, forgive me. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you. Ah, it's time for the next meeting. Please excuse me. Sergey. Don't worry, I won't budge. For all those who have paved the way for us.
And you are? I am the Seraph Aksha. May I ask what has brought you to this distant realm, Shepard? My name is Saray. Um... We heard about a poet or something named Maven. Do you know anything about that? Ah, if it is the poet Maven you seek. She rests here. She passed away? Yes, over 300 years ago. As her old friend, I care for her grave. Three hundred years? He didn't mention that part. It happens sometimes with long-lived Seraphim. Their sense of time gets out of sync with the real world. For the man who told us about her, three hundred years ago probably felt like no more than two or three. Oh, yeah, I've gotten that. Set my pudding down once and only remembered it a hundred years later. Really? Doubtful. Was there something you had wanted from her? We have an acquaintance named Maven who's an explorer. We thought maybe she was family, but... Looks like the name was just a coincidence. It is no coincidence. Your explorer friend is the storyteller of time, is he not? How did you know that? This Maven was also a storyteller. Those in the clan of storytellers have no names of their own. The name Maven is passed down through the generations. So the poet Maven was his ancestor from centuries ago. Doesn't Maven mean caregiver in the old tongue? Those born into that name and that oath must accept their fate to be observers of the world. But I wonder, why is that their fate? Wasn't it like... The first one did some damn fool thing and wound up forced to take the oath as punishment or something? That I could not say. Only the storytellers themselves might know for sure. Where is the current Maven? We were there when he... I see. I watched the world with measured gaze as moments turned to history. The world, a lute the people play, and history its melody. Venture on, venture on, let your actions turn the world, and I shall watch, and I shall watch, until the final star winks out. If solitude must be my fate, then people are my heart, my heart. I know your sins and shrieks and joys, for people are my heart, my heart. Is that by the poet Maven? The words are filled with love for people. Yes, it was her dream, but surely one shared by her entire clan. It is solitude itself that leads storytellers to cherish the world and its people. I'm sure the maven you knew was happy to have you by his side in his final hour. I hope so. We need to work hard to live up to the hopes that maven placed in us. So old man Maven really was dealt a tricky hand in life. Yeah. He was burdened with a special fate. Even so, he never had a problem lending a helping hand to the Sparrow Feathers. And he taught me what it is to be an explorer. He traveled all over the world. Gently guiding us to the right path. Yep. 
That's the Maven I know. No matter his circumstances, no matter his fate... Maven was just Maven, through and through. Yep. Like how Saray is just Saray. And how Rose is just Rose. Stop copying me! You copied me first! So loud in the guy's sauna. Saray and Miklio are probably having some sort of conversation about the history of sauna or something like that. Like a how did sauna spread to the rest of the world sort of discussion. Yeah, yeah. Not to mention one gross perv among them. Don't worry, I've burnt all those creepy winds coming our way. What stupidity. They need to learn to just relax and enjoy this paradise of heat. Yes, I feel as if it's purifying my body and soul. To not even be able to appreciate a time like this, guys sure are... Brandon. Childish. Everyone, please don't... Hey! Quit bullying that cat! Keep it up and it'll turn into a cat hellion and getcha! Oh, thank you very much! Whoa, a cat hellion? I'm not a hellion now. I'm a cat. This is... a cat? Are you a human or just a cat? Whichever. As long as it's cute. I'd like to invite you all to Cat's Corner as thanks for lending a paw. Really? We had all been working so hard on our own. And we found out like this. It's our lucky day. I'll say. Take us there. Unfortunately, we do not allow first-timers to enter Cat's Corner. Meow. But you just invited us. You have a point. Meow. But it's a cold world out there, Meow. We have to choose between quality and quantity. Gotta make ends meet, Meow. Guess cats are high maintenance pretty much everywhere. It's definitely a hard decision to make as a business. Cat's Corner is a business? Really? Well, if so, connections are super important. Me? Yeah! You got that right. You get me? Meow. Of course, I know just what you mean. Yes, meow. <sighs> I don't get what's going on anymore. <laughs> you just need to show us that you're a relative of a regular customer who's a high-ranking sheriff. Meow. Well, got anything, Saray? Proof of my relationship with a high-ranking sheriff. So, do you have proof of anything like that? Meow. Look what the cat's dragged in. This is Sir Zenris's pipe. A friend of his is a friend of ours! We welcome you to Cat's Corner! Is that a treasure chest? Smell. Is it herbs?
Do you have proof of anything like that? Meow. Look what the cat we what? Turtles in the house. Toy What's this song? Everyone loves them turtles. It's called the Hymn of Turtles. It's an old family song, a real blast from the past. It's a song supposed to turn away folks you ain't long in the sea. But it looks like it did the opposite. So, you's made it in, huh? Like they say, you gotta be like the turtles. At ease in your own shells. <laughs> then you've done well. Enough talks. Atone for your betrayal of the Turtles Clan! <laughs> I see you have a similar combat grip. You and I are definitely turtles. But ability-wise, I got all the strength! Ugh! Turtles! Ha! You can't beat me with that sorts of level! You can't stop my ambitions, nor the tragedy of the clan! Our shells is an armor! It reacts and grows with our desires and willpower! Why? Are we turtles still so slow? Answer me! Ugh. I failed my mission. I can't watch anymore. Yeah. Hmm. Time for your umbrella. You're gonna fight him, Saray? I can't just leave him alone. Hey, your accent. You too. Mick Boy's not doing it. Why not join us? Yeah, I think not. Go under! I will smite you! Please! Get it
Each other. Wait, did he really do something that bad? He. This guy. He stole the monies we reserved for the seniors' vacation fund! And? The seniors are mad that their spa vacations got cancelled! They told me not to come back until I bring them the culprit! Now pay us back, you soft-shelled coward, before we sell us to a restaurant! Too bad. I used up all your monies already. You can make turtle soup out of me for all I care. Wait a Meowman! Dark Turtles has been working hard to earn money for us cats, Meow. He's donated all his money to our village, Meow. Thanks to him, we are able to maintain Cat's Corner. Dark Turtles, did you really? Why didn't you say so? There's no way I could. Can't believe a Turtles like me ended up falling in love with such a simple village. You're such a numbshell. Hmm. <laughs> Takes one to know one. I'm glad, meow. Now he can come back to the shop, Mew. Shop? Oh, yeah! The local hip club in Cat's Corner, the Cat's Pajamas! It's a place where you can forget about your worries in life and eat, drink, and be meowing. Dark Turtles is a valued patron who brings expensive bottles of milk for us every time he visits. Hey, suckers! You can leave the bill for yesterday's bottles to Turtles here. Hey! What? Who are you? What's the cat's pajamas? Tell us, Nicleo. Don't ask me. Time to do some field work. No, you'll become malevolent. 
I guess nothing got resolved after all. But nothing really happened either. Is that an herb? Did something happen? Oh, apparently they found the body of a child. What? One of those pickpocket kids. We thought he'd turned over a new leaf, but... I guess he was back at it. And he picked the wrong pocket. <laughs> Whoever it was showed no mercy, even for a child. Poor kid. Didn't understand the danger he was courting. That's true. I remember there used to be a whole gang of them. I bet his buddies all met the same fate, too. That's the life of a street kid. Nasty, brutish, and short. If you're a dumb thug, reputation is everything. Anyone who messes with them gets pounded into the ground. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> Please don't torment yourself over this, Saray. You did what a shepherd ought to do. Thank you, Lila. But it's still... It's still hard. What's up with the two of you? We were going to report to you about two separate incidents. But it looks like they're related. What do you mean? I had some info about the Romano firm. The owner Romano is supposedly an art connoisseur. People who went bankrupt offered him their prized arts as collateral for relief. Mine was about the children of the vagrant hunters. Apparently, their targets were carriers hired by those bankrupt families. So the stolen goods were works of art, to be taken as collateral for Romano. Could that be just coincidence? Everything happens from the interrelated strands of coincidence. But, behind every hint of self-interest is an intention. Right. Romano claimed breach of contract, saying he didn't get the goods and gave a final warning. That's why so many have had to file bankruptcy. And what happened to the artworks? He's taken them all for himself. So this was all a scheme for him to get his hands on them. Can't be held accountable if there's no evidence, right? The only evidence there is would be the group of children who attacked the carrier. So that's what he meant by destroying the evidence. That no good, lousy son of a... <clears throat> Alright. I'll go find out myself. Romano's headed for Marland. Be careful. He must have bodyguards, too. Roger. You two keep investigating. Hey! I'll go too! 
Thanks. Bit of a fixer upper, but it'll do. I have plenty of renovation money after all. Using our little refund for renovation, just too smooth. Are you Mr. Romano? Who the hell wants to know? I've got this place reserved. There's something I want to ask you. You can just buy works of art. Why are you getting them through such underhanded means? She sure doesn't waste time. Figures. Who are you? The scattered bones. Wh what? Hmm. Is this some kind of a joke, little girl? A joke? Yeah. Uh. Taking all the property from bankrupt people? Killing all the children you've used? You've really messed up now. Well, you think you can prove it? Do you understand the situation you're in, Mr. Romano? Oh, don't just stand there and protect me, you fools! Do your jobs! Hellions! <laughs> Thanks for proving me right, Romano. Are these the ones who killed the children? You do something so terrible for a few pieces of artwork! Pieces of artwork? I am reclaiming these beauties! From fools like you, who would reduce such beauty to monetary value! Why would I buy them? I would never tarnish their value by degrading them to property! True beauty should rightfully be in the hands of one who truly comprehends it! Me! These works of art should be mine and mine alone! This is my calling, my war! I shall fight to protect artistic beauty the world over! For the sake of such a historic undertaking, who cares about one or two dead brats? Can he be purified? He... isn't emitting any malevolence. Figured. G Hold on a moment. Help me! May these weary bones find peaceful rest. When did you... We figured out who these two are. They're kidnappers who've killed over 30 people. There were requests from the victims' families. Well, that's the end of that. Mission accomplished. How should we report back to our client? I'll tell the children myself. Could you come with me? Of course. Are you okay? I'm fine. Sorry for making you worry. Well, as long as you're okay.
Quick! Stop him, Shepard! Lila! Ah! She went mad with rage right after regaining consciousness. We couldn't do anything to stop her. The memory of her companions getting killed had probably taken over her troubled state of mind. And so, she became a Hellion once again. In the end, I couldn't save anyone. That's not entirely true. Think about it. If you hadn't purified her, she would have killed many more. If that was the result of her grief toward her companions, then she would be beyond redemption. The lad was just... unfortunate is all. The scattered bones have delivered their vengeance. So didn't he get his wish after all? No. We just did what we had to, nothing more. That's not saving anything, if you think about it. Huh? Then why do it? <sighs> you know, how all kinds of terrible things happen in the world lately? I want to do everything I can to stop them, before they start happening all over the place. Of course, that's the duty of the Scattered Bones. Yeah. We've had our share of hard knocks too. That's why it's our duty to put an end to it if we can. Meaning... that it's your job... to kill. Yeah. But it's true that a world where we don't have to kill would be best. Aguil, Felice, Talfrin, Roche, and the others feel the same way. As do I. But Saray, you can actually save them! Have confidence and just do your thing! My job is to give life. You got it! thing to say. Thanks, Saray. Huh? For what? For not wanting me to have to keep on killing. I don't regret what I do, but I'm glad you worry for me. I do understand your resolve as the leader of the Scattered Bones, but that doesn't change how I feel about it. Stubborn as ever. Look who's talking. Well, glad we're not enemies. And I'm glad that you're my squire. It appears to be a formidable Hellion. Appears to be? I'm not an expert on every Hellion in the land. You're right. Sorry. Well, sincerity. That's new. Sends treasure nearby. That 
that was radiant, Edna. Suppose I could learn from your level of reserve. I like your moxie. Gonna feel the so this is the legendary wyvern. Please be careful. It's as strong as a dragon. Saray, let me take this one. Be sure to let me know if there's treasure nearby. Got it? We managed to defeat it. Yeah, finally. Zavid, was this Hellion someone you knew? This is where my old comrades and I first embarked on our journey, way back when. This was a slight acquaintance. Amazing! You actually had friends, Zavid? Ouch! Right in the dignities. I wish I could meet them, Zavid. Your old comrades. Me too. But you can't, can you? Probably not. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't sweat it. It's the destiny of a long-lived Seraph to make many farewells. Destiny, huh? And hey, I'm here again in the same place. A whole new set of comrades. Life sure is funny sometimes. Is that the destiny of the Seraphim? Yep. I hope you'll remember it, Mickey boy. It'd be harder to forget it. <laughs> well said. Don't you think Zavid was acting a bit weird earlier? It felt like he was hiding something from us. But he did say we were his comrades. Yeah, I think of him that way too. So do I. Then it's okay. We don't have to ask him. I trust that he'll tell us when the time is right. That's fair. Did that soothe your soul, gentle shepherd? Sorry. Thanks for lending an ear. No worries. I'll even give you a discount. Huh? It costs money? anomalous orbs total oh yeah about the orbs they've been around for a while and there are quite a few interesting stories behind them I've heard before that they're condensed balls of malevolence which form after they consume Hellions so it's quite possible that some notorious figures in history could have been under their influence huh you mean they have the power to change people's personalities and turn them into Hellions guess the humans got caught up in it without even knowing it since they don't have the resonance to see the malevolence and if a Hellion gets possession of one, more malevolence gets fed into it until they turn into mutant Hellions. Why would anyone even make something like this? If you can't purify them, it'd be one way of reducing the number of Hellions out there. I mean, humans don't even possess the power of purification anyways. And back in those days, there were more resonant humans that could see the Seraphim in Hellions too. So you're saying it's a measure humans took to protect their kind from Hellions? It's just a temporary solution used to defer an outcome that is inevitable. That's just human nature, I guess. Always thinking about today, as if tomorrow will never come. I guess I shouldn't have jumped to conclusions without knowing more about the situation. I shall live for tomorrow! Just as long as you keep to your word. You're going the wrong way. Sorry, I forgot it's past the prickle boar hunting grounds. I know how you must feel, but you've got to relax.
Well, doesn't he look scary? It's probably the enshrined god of the Mount Mabinogio ruins. I couldn't tell you its name, but... This is Zenris. What? You mean Gramps? Long ago, people worshipped Zenris as the god of thunder, the deity encompassing both severity and grace. Oh, so that whole time, what we grew up playing and exploring in was... Gramps' shrine. Things tell me that there's treasures nearby. Found it. Totally found it. Treasure chest? Sense treasure nearby. Is this? He was the one who brought in the soldiers. What a fool he was, right up to the very end. Muse! <sighs> Lila, quickly! Heal her! <gasps> Are you alright? late if i still have my life to give what are you doing don't try to move please dear seraph i need to i must do this i want to give the world reason to hope even should it cost me my life but why because i believe i believe that the children raised by seraph zendras will one day grow to become a shepherd and his companion. I believe they will lead us to hope for the future. A bright future where humans and seraphim can live hand in hand. And that is your answer. Please, my staff. Muse! 
farewell, Muse. I too believe in your wish, and I know it will surely come true. Thank you. Mikleo, I... I'm so sorry. I'm fine. I'm sure we'll find Zenris just up ahead. And our missing Maltellus as well. Not to mention Catface. Let's get it on! Yeah. Everyone, let's do this! The prologue to the final act, huh? Lord Heldoff, my master. Can these people truly be stained with the colors you desire? But then, it is my job to see that they are. Yeah. Must be Simone. Definitely. Hmm. I wonder what she's playing at. Let's stay on guard. This is Simone's doing. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any time to lose. Let's blow through this one. You got it! Where? <gasps> What's going on? I can't deal with this! Simone, this is pointless. Knock it off! Stand in our way. Lila, it would be tough for a seraph to withstand this much malevolence without a vessel, wouldn't it? Huh? Y yes. The seraph would have a difficult time wielding his powers. I thought so. I guess she's running out of ideas for what kind of illusions to make. Looks like it. But let's proceed with caution. Yeah, the most important thing is to keep calm in these kinds of situations. Hold back for your brain. Hey, 
Hydra has the ability to regenerate, just like immortals or something. They're weak against non-elemental attacks, so we should... Underestimate, all right? Of course. I won't let my guard down just because it's fun looking. I swear, you really are a kid sometimes. and may never let you go. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. So dumb as to fall for that garbage. Simone, are you getting desperate? You go to hell! Yeah. 
Damn you, Shepard. You're afraid, aren't you, Simone? Afraid that we'll defeat Heldolf, huh? Never! You have no chance! Let's go. But Simone's just gonna throw more of her crap at us. I bet she will, but it won't be anything we need to worry about. Probably not. Even her illusions are starting to lose their spectacle. She can make passable imitations of Rose and Saray, sure, but it's looking like everything else is beyond her reach. Yeah, if she could scare us with anything she wanted, you'd think there'd be more guts and stuff. Spleens. Spleens? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. Right. We don't want to let her stall us here while we talk about how bad she is at her job. Yeah. She sure is trying. It's kind of getting annoying. But I feel like the effects of her technique are weakening. Simone. Could it be? Hmm. I should learn to ski. Huh? Why? Because hell froze over when you started using your head. It's okay, Rose. It's hard at first if you're not used to it. <laughs> Very funny! So that's what you think of me. <laughs> so, Rose, what was on your mind? Well, you know, we've beaten a whole bunch of Hellions. Those big old boss-type suckers. But I feel like I'm... Mm, missing something. Is it that you want to become stronger? More like... something that'll clinch the battle. I don't know if that's necessary. You're already plenty strong, Rose. <laughs> that's something only people who've lived on the battlefield will understand. That feeling when you know what you have to do, but you lack the confidence and the strength you'll need to do it. Knowing what you have to do. And getting confidence in your strength. Mm. Rose, the desire for strength is one that can very easily breed malevolence. <sighs> Rose, like I said earlier, you don't have to do anything you're not used to. Remember back in the Tintagel ruins? You listened to what I had to say and then searched your feelings to come up with your answer. Someone like you, you don't need to think, just feel, right? Huh, <laughs> our Mickey's actually pulled together some good advice. Chalk me up as another vote. Yeah, maybe it's time to go back to basics. Might as well. How about where we first met then? Lady Lake, wasn't it? Yeah, even before we met Lila. Wow, you do make a beeline for the lady folk. Sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Uh, I see I needn't have worried. But I'm glad you did. Thank you, Lila. Of course.